Well, New Zealand Oil and Gas has been judged best online communicator in the latest Wired Best Investor website awards. Overall, judges found that the standard of websites for leading companies was lifting, although some companies are still being left behind. Well, for more on this, I'm joined by one of the judges of the awards, Bruce Russell. Good morning, Bruce. Yeah, good day. Uh, New Zealand Oil and Gas first, what was it about them that uh, saw them take out the top award? Well, it has to be said, they got everything right. They understand the needs of investors and how to communicate that um, clearly. The, the site, the improvements they made over the last year really is that the site's become much more engaging. It just looks good. As soon as you look at their homepage, you can understand immediately what their business is. The largest words on the page are discovering our energy future. And frankly, they had me at discovering. And I think it's important investors know what your business is. Um, and they can look at the site and see everything they need to see clearly. There's nothing hidden. There's no feeling that you know, anything's being swept under the carpet. Whereas with plenty of the sites that do less well, frankly, uh, they've got the same information, but it's just the way they present it um, is baffling and confusing to investors. So what are some examples of some who are perhaps should be doing well but were struggling, some listed companies? Well, frankly, uh, the wooden spoon goes to EBOS, and um, I think the startling thing about the EBOS site, and it's been this way for the last three years we've been doing these awards, uh, is that you look at their homepage, and frankly, you'd have to be psychic to know what business they're in. It's not remotely visible. You cannot tell. Literally, there is no clue on the homepage, and a homepage really needs to do a lot of work for a company. It's the most valuable piece of real estate they possess. It's small, but it's very, very important, and the EBOS site just does not tell you what they do. How much of, I mean, websites are becoming increasingly important, aren't they? But how much of the focus is going on investor uh, information as opposed to marketing? I think that's the key is that that balance is shifting and that more and more listed companies are realising in fact that one of the crucial audiences for their website is investors. Um, in the past there was the feeling that they were some kind of all singing, all dancing, high tech brochure um, and then uh, businesses got the idea that they needed to communicate their products and services and I think really now they're beginning to realise that in fact um, investor relations are online. I mean, it's not that online is, is like an add-on or something special or just an extra way that some investors may wish to get information. It's particularly true in current market conditions where the number of intermediaries between investors and businesses are you know, declining. Uh, there aren't so many analysts, so many brokers, and, and frankly, the business media is perhaps you know, not as broad and healthy as it might have been um, in, in previous years. And that really puts, a, I think, a bigger challenge to the companies to communicate directly. And frankly, um, our message is it's not hard. Um, it's like playing bridge. Basically, every website is like a deck of cards, and essentially the same cards are in every hand. It's just how you arrange them. How, how much are people updating their sites? I mean, are we getting to the point where they're you know, uh, getting the updates they need? I think it's really crucial that sites should be regularly updated. The information in them needs to be, um, needs to be complete and it needs to be timely. Um, the difference this year is that um, in our last survey uh, in the 2007-2008 year, uh, only 10 out of the 50 sites had been renewed during that year. This year we've had 16 of the NZX50 sites completely redesigned. And the good news is that of those 16, fully uh, 11, more than two-thirds, were actually better as a result of that money being spent. And that actually is news, because in the previous year of the 10 that were redesigned, five were better and five were worse. It was a coin toss, which really you know, isn't encouraging. And I think, it, um, I think it shows that there are plenty of partners out there willing to work with listed companies in order to enhance their online presence, tell them how to get it right, because frankly, it's about understanding your audience and what they need and communicating transparently. And it's not rocket surgery. Indeed. Bruce Russell, thank you very much. One of the judges of the Wired uh, Best uh, Investor Website Awards. Well, that's it for yes, today's programme.